Hi everyone. Now we will learn how we can install JSON server and how we can make API with this. But first question is what is JSON server? So we will talk about this. Then we will install JSON server. We have to make one db.json file inside this so that we can make API with that. And then we will make a user's API. We will test this API with the help of Thunder client. And Thunder client is basically an extension of uh, VS code. This is very easy to install. We will see how we can install it and how we can test our API with this and at last we'll talk about some important interview questions related to json server now let's come to the first question what is json server so json server is basically a tool that help us to make fake apis now the question is why we have to make fake apis see when we are working with the front end technologies like angular react Vue, or maybe with the react native kind of technologies that time we need some apis right so that we can learn how to integrate these apis uh, how we can fetch data and uh, how we can uh, pass data to these APIs, right? So oh, for all of these things, we have to make some APIs and JSON server will help us to make the APIs. Now, another question is, there are some APIs which is available free of cost online. So why we cannot these APIs? So mostly these are get APIs only. Get API means uh, we can only get these data. We can um, show this data on the UI, but in case of delete, update and store the data there are very few apis on uh, which is available online and they are mostly paid so better we can make our these api locally and we can see either we are able to delete update or store the data or not and again we have two option if we want to make our apis local first one is we can use json server another one is we can make the real apis with the actual database and the programming language but for that, you have to set up a backend programming language, maybe Node, Python, PHP or Java something. And then we need a database also. So better is let's go for the easy solution and easy solution is JSON server. With this, we can create APIs within two, three minutes and they are behave like a real APIs. And with these APIs, we can uh, use any method, uh, get method, post, put, delete, patch, anything we can use. All right understood so now let's see how we can install it so let me uh, take you through the official documentation of this so if you just put there json server type code right don't forget to add their type code because uh, there are some other json server also uh, they are look like bit similar but not exactly working uh, for what we need actually all right so first let's click on the first one and there uh, there are documentation and everything is available, but to install it, you have to run this command. So let's open the terminal and go where you want to install your application uh, or install the JSON server. So I will go to the dash, uh, I will go to the uh, root, then I'll go to the dashboard and there I am making one more folder, mkdir api, right? And if you go to the, your dashboard, you can see that we have this folder. And inside this, let's go to the API then, right? And then run this command, npm install JSON server. Yeah, and then just do ls. And now if you do the ls, you will find three, two files and one folder there. Uh, and let's check these. Here you can see that json.server is basically keep the detail of JSON server, some commands and something and uh, JSON uh, node module is basically the packages which is required and package log.json this is basically keep the history and uh, you can say that other dependencies right so this is not so much important so no i'm not going to explain it more uh, even i already explained this package log.json in this series in angular and react and view everywhere all right so now what do we need to do need to do uh, we have to create a file db.json inside this right and if you just go there, you will find this create a db.json file there or db.json5. So json5 is also fine, but let's go with the db.json only. And uh, let me open it with the, with the VS code. So how you can open? You can open manually or either you can use code dot command. So code dot will only work if you install in your system. VS code is installed. All right. Now let's create one more file db.json there we go and you can put any data there and let's say let me just copy this data and paste there then uh, i will create this data manually also but let's understand this is how this is working then i will remove this data and create it from scratch okay 
so yeah uh, this is the anger code let me close it yeah and let me open it little bit in a large area so that you can understand yeah okay so after doing this what we need to have we need to make a user apis but first let's test this like what it will give the result so it will create three apis first for post second for uh, comments third for profiles yeah and how we can uh, check this that first you have to run your json server how you can run you have to run this command so either you can use this terminal or either you can use your vs code terminal anything is fine yeah and just do that yeah now if you open the local host and this you can see that this is one api comments is a second and third one is the profile right so uh, let's say uh, i I just want to show you how we can test it so just copy this or better you just understand like so now let's create the users api then we will test it with the uh, thunder client right so yeah go to the home now delete everything from there or uh, better you can just close it it will be run in the background only yeah and then i'm creating a users api right like this and then you can create an array and inside this array let's define some users let's say name is john uh, john then age is 30 then email is let's say uh, john at the rate test dot com and you can close it right so this is the one and if you want to give some id that you can also give id is let's say one yeah it should it should work yeah and let me just make some copy paste for this then third one then fourth one and last one is fifth yeah so after john another user is anil it is let's say 28 anil then sam 23 sam at the rate test.com yeah i have to change the id also sorry about that three four name is peter age is let's say 34 yeah and last one is let's say fifth this is bruce bruce is a bit older 56 and let's put like this okay now if you will see you'll see that we have only one api with the users like this right so okay so is it the api yes this is the api that you can use you can add the data with the help of api you can update anything you can do that let's check this okay after that what you need to do go to the extensions there vs in the vs code and search for thunder client Oh, client sorry for the typo yeah and now you can install it and this is very quick to install okay so if you are not able to find this icon then just click on those these three dots and here you will find thunder client like this or either you can zoom out that will just make your text a little bit smaller right yeah so now let's test get method all are these methods which is present for apis and now let's copy this url paste it there and send a request now you can see that we got the request right okay now let's try to add one more data there go to the body then 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 mm, json is fine right so what i need to do i just let me just copy this right it will help me to save lots of time uh id if you want to provide let's say i just want to i add other id six then the username is let's say tony yep what was the last username bruce Tony, I just want to add one more, and uh, then age is let's say forty. Tony, this and just remove this comma at the last, and now you have to choose the post which is already chosen and click over there. Down now you can see that one more user is created. If I just refresh this, one more user is there, and if I go to the JSON dot file, here we go. Here here we have the last one user which we just added there, and here you can see that this is also showing there. So if I just again click to the get users and how here you can see that we are getting this user. 
so this is how we can test the apis so we will use it more when we will integrate the apis but overall you get the idea how we can make apis with the help of json server how we can test them interview question they can ask how we can create fake apis right for testing purpose then you can say that we can use json server and uh, then maybe if they mention uh yeah how many types of uh, apis or how many methods uh, in apis we have then you can see that there are lots of methods but we mostly use get post put patch and delete we mostly use these five methods thank you so much for watching this part if you have any doubt confusion you can ask me in the comment section thank you so much guys